Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to Tony Northeastern and another episode of building this station and hopefully we'll get the book and hall completely finished and then we'll be able to concentrate on other areas of the station so let's get cracking and so here we are we're back at the bench and I'm just putting the finishing touches to these handrails. Um, this one goes down that side of the stairs and this one, the right angled one, which we saw last week, goes down the opposite side. So what I've done here, I don't know if we can see it or not, but right at the tip of the handrail I've curled the card up and then super glued it back to the post so it looks like a carved piece of wood once it's painted anyway so I thought I'd uh, show you that and uh, I just got to do the same with this one so basically what I'm doing is I'm running the card past the edge by about six millimeters or so and just hold that in place be able to show you my fingers right so as you can see I just come past the end of the railings if you like by about six millimeters so we'll cut that off and get a toothpick and roll the end over the toothpick if you can see and then just use your fingers and then roll the rest up because roll it up ever so small And hopefully that will be enough to coil back under when we glue it on. Now it's just a case of super gluing that onto the edge. And then we'll have a coiled um, end, if you like, on the handrail. It'll be a lot tidier than that because I've got to manipulate it a little bit more. So now I'm using a Revel Green to paint the handrails uh, 19. Um, it's a gloss paint, so once the uh, LEDs light up the booking hall, maybe we'll get a little bit of a shimmer off the, off the paint. And obviously, once the gloss is dry, we can then do the actual top handrail in that uh, brown mixture I made up last week. So, we shall let these dry and we'll concentrate on other little details I can put into the booking hall before I uh, glue the walls together. We have moved on a little bit and uh, as you can see I've been adding some um, poster signs, LNER poster signs and some um, decals for way out and refreshments and the waiting room down there. So we're almost ready to put the two halves together but there's just one more little detail. So if I just zoom the camera in to about there, you can see we have a figure there. And as you can see, we need to put some sort of rail across that window at that height to stop the figurines falling out the window. 
So I'm just using a little piece of 0.8 wire and a uh, pre marked it, you can see my mark there, and I'll just bend it and I shall paint it a brass colour and I'll just glue that in across there at that height. Right, so I've bent both handrails and I've painted them. So I'm just marking up 15 mil from the landing and then just popping a hole in. I've just, just got to do the same to that side. 15 mil and then just pop a hole in there. Um, but I've got to be careful that I don't go through the other side. So I'm just being very, very cautious here. I only want to go in just about a millimetre or so just so that when the handrail is glued in it's got somewhere to fix to. With the handrails now glued in up against the windows there to stop the little people falling through the windows <laughs> uh, I think it's time to put the two halves of these walls together. Um, I think I have enough detail in there uh, it's quite possible we're not going to see everything but you never know so let's put these two halves together so here we go just going to run the rocket card glue along that edge where we allowed for the joint and just let it soak in for a little bit because this stuff can be quite runny and we'll do the same to uh, this ledge and we'll let that soak in for a little bit what I will do is put a little bit along this edge in there and then in there because that's where it sits as well a little tiny bit in there right. okay we'll just leave that and a little bit along there and in there So hopefully the handrail we can just push in from the top and the bottom. So we're just making sure that they're flush. The joints are looking good. Top and bottom. And also flush with the back edge, top edges there. So they're flush and they're flush. Right, we shall leave this to dry. I got the handrail in. It was a little bit of a tight squeeze. Um, I had to trim about 0.5 of a mil a meter off of that corner in there because that was quite tight across from there to there, this corner. But uh, it's in now, so I've just got that a little bit left of the handrail going up the stairs. Now I had to trim uh, a couple of millimeters off the end of this handrail. It was expected that's why I put a wider piece of card on there. Although I knew I was going to be close but uh, I didn't think I was going to be uh, that far out. So try to get that in there holding it flush and holding it flush and then trying to get a little bit of super glue in there so that's going to be a bit tricky so it's going to be roughly about there I think right so I'll get a little drop of super glue on there 
and then hold it flush at the same time. I'll slightly bent that handrail. Try and straighten it over a little bit. Right, so now we'll try and get that in. And mine's got to sit on the steps. Right, so it's somewhere over there. No, it's not going to do it. Right, I'm going to have to rethink. Yeah, the handrail was bent uh, just in that corner which wasn't allowing this to sit flat on the stairs so we shall try again a lot better and it looks like the same height as the other one that's already in there right so I'll drop a couple of bits of super glue on there and see if I can hold that corner in place just until the glue goes off right that's it, it's in. And that's what it looks like from the top. There's a little bit of a step in the handle. So I'll just put a little bit of super glue in there so that'll hold that. So what I'll we'll have to do is just put a little tiny bit of uh, plastic card in that corner and then paint it. But yeah, I'm quite happy with that. The hands rails look level between the two of them across there. So, just a few more spots of super glue to hold that in place, and it's job done. So now you can have a, a proper look at the staircase and veranda. I've just got to touch up the handrail with a little bit of paint there where the joint is. But uh, yeah, you know, considering it was all done apart, made apart, made separately, and then just put together. Just a few issues, just tiny little issues, just little bits to trim off. But yeah. I'm quite happy with that. Now that the walls are glued, I thought we'd just stick it onto the platforms and um, have a little look through the windows to see what we can actually can see. Uh, I know the, uh, the roof's not on at the moment, which is letting lots of light in. And, uh, yeah, I think we can just about see everything that I've put in from this angle. You can see the handrails, the railings, and the stairs going down. And the stairs on the inside here. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see once this is all lit up. Right, so now we can concentrate on doing um, maybe a bit more to the front of this building. Um, concentrate on the wall, the pillars, and getting the canopy in. I've had a little think about what I want to do next, and it will be the canopy and the the facial wall which goes on the front of this wall here. Um, the original drawing 
if I can uh, show you. This is the original drawing, and it shows the steps just coming straight out. Well, we've changed that around now. And this is what I've come up with for the front now. So this will be the wall that will glue up against the steps. And I'm thinking maybe having either two columns or four columns. Uh, I think four may be too many because it might obstruct the view going through um, the station because we've left the station door open. Um, so this is what I'm looking to do. And this is the actual width of the canopy. It's just below the big window. Uh, as you can see, um, it's going to be detailed. I'm going to have half round plus round plastic strip which will go uh, around the card. You'll, you'll see as we go. So that's the plan or the cunning plan for this week is to make this up. And I've already made a start. I've glued some card together. Some two pieces of two mil and one piece of one mil and that gives me a five mil thickness of the wall which should be plenty to drill holes in to support the um, columns. Um, yeah, as you've seen in the drawing, it's 70 mil wide that way, and it works out at roughly 22 mils from there, the edge there to the top of the wall. So all I've got to do now is wrap this up in brick card. Well, after I've cut these tabs off first, and um, see what it looks like then. I have covered the wall in brick card. I have cut three pieces of card here. These two are 7mm wide, 1mm thick, and this is 5mm wide, 1mm thick. These will end up cutting up into squares to form the, the base and the top for the columns as you will see as we move along. And what we've got here is a round um, cupcake stick as it were and uh, what I'm doing is I'm slowly putting grooves in to form the column as it were so what I'm doing I'm scoring I don't know if you can see that there's a groove there there and uh, I'm scoring this stick roughly about three mil apart just using a braddle trying to keep it nice and flat and keep my hands steady which is the hardest part then ever so slowly As you can see I've got two grooves in there now. One is deeper than the other. See there's one and there's two. And we should end up with something like this with the grooves in. You could probably get away with using barbecue skewers as well because they're about the same diameter. Uh, the diameter of these um, cupcake sticks is three millimeters right here is the wall now as you can see I have added the capping plus the five mil by six mil um, base plates for the columns so what I'll do is I'll drill a three millimeter hole into these pads and then glue these in but they've got to be set at a certain height of about 30 millimeters and then here is the top half and then that will then get glued onto there so we shall see how it looks when it's all glued together I have permanently glued the columns into the pads and the walls as you can see there but this is just left loose for the moment because I've got a lot more work to do with this um, yeah I'm quite happy with the way that that's turned out so far 
Um, it'd be interesting to see what it looks like when it's painted. Um, I think the two columns I think does work uh, as we shall see. It's amazing how a little bit of paint can change the look of something that looks so bland. Um, as you can see the paint is going into the grooves that I had made on these um, cupcake sticks. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the same grey that we used for the window surrounds. So it just adds that extra, well, look about it. Um, during the comments I was reminded about a few things. Um, the clock uh, for the booking hall and also the North Eastern Railway map which is normally found uh, in most um, North Eastern stations. Um, so I've added the map which you'll see later on and uh, I've yet to add a clock. Um, most of the walls now have been taken up with posters and signs and things so I might have to put a clock somewhere else rather than inside the booking hall but we shall see. It's early days yet. I'm going to cheat a little bit here with the clocks. I'm using these Medcalf um, clocks, station clocks. Um, you get two different types in this packet, and uh, that's the product code there P0515. Uh, you get, like I said, you get two different types. You get the triangular type, which is that one, or you can get the flush type which is uh, this one. So that's a hanging clock but with uh, one face. You can add two faces to the clock if you like but um, I'm going to do this slightly different. Um, what I'm going to do is I have made a clock up already. I'm not even going to attempt to paint that because that looks good as it is but what I will do is I shall cut these corners off and make it round, make it a round station clock in the end I decided to paint the surround on the clock uh, mahogany the same as I did with the wood panelling that I fitted last week so it keeps it all, you know, looking uniformed. So yeah, so that's what I did in the end. And this is how I did it. I super glued a Q-tip to the back of the clock, as you can see there, um, just to hold the clock while I painted the surround. Right, uh, further on, I have now glued the entrance to the building and uh, yeah that has changed the appearance well twofold as it were I have also added some handrails one either side just by using uh, a little bit of that 0.8 copper wire and um, that seems to set off the entrance quite well and uh, yeah so what we'll do we'll have a look at this in situ at the station and now we have the clock in place as you can see it's just underneath the, the huge big round window there 
but it's a, a long way to look up, especially if you're down there on the on the ground floor. Get end up with a stiff neck. <laughs> um, I have added a northeastern railway map. It's just there, the tip of the pencil is up against the wall there. It's right next to where you buy the tickets. So I did manage to fit one in this week, and it's uh, all down to you guys for reminding me um, to fit these two little items in. Right, so the staircase and the landing rails, handrails, balustrade, and it's all finished on the inside. I think that's just about enough detail I could add for the inside. Maybe put a couple of figures in just to um, add some life to the booking hall. Right, and here we have the grand entrance. Now that is a lot better than what I had planned originally. Originally, well, as you remember, it was just going to be a set of stairs coming out. But now we have um, the pillars and, well, canopy. Yeah. Now the reason why I've done it like this is the road space is not very big so the paving will start from that corner edging and then go round and similar again. Start from there and then come round. Um, I might have a little bit of space for a couple of slabs in front but um, that's for something in the future. So we've done quite well this week. Uh, a little bit of progress. Handrails is all done. Grand entrance is done. And um, yeah, it's starting to take shape. Uh, hopefully next week we can start on this side. Maybe get the two floors in on this side. Um, but we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Right, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. Thank you for watching and commenting. And um, we'll see you again next time. Bye for now. Bye.